Hey, what is up guys, Kit from Sunset Park, and I am back with another Seed Spotlight video for you guys today. And this seed is a really, really awesome seed. It'll be in the description below if you want to try it out. I really like it. So first of all, you spawn in this huge, huge forest biome, um, surrounded by a taiga biome as well, or snow biome, whatever you guys call it. But right off the bat, you have a lot of essentials to start getting, you know, a house made, or getting the essentials to actually start playing. And this is actually a really good survival uh, seed. So you just walk over a couple of blocks, and you find a spider spawner right off the bat. And a very promising cave I looked in there, and I'm not going to show you, but there is very promising um, resources in that cave. Coal, iron, diamond, stuff like that. So that is literally only 50 blocks from spawn, something like that, around that area last time I checked. And um, right off the bat, you have a lot of trees, you could start mining, and then you go right into a spider spawner, and you could possibly start an XP farm. So you fly over here, and you have your first NPC village. You know, just your typical NPC village. There is no blacksmith house, uh, unfortunately, but there is a lot of wheat farm and a lot of opportunity, you know, for wood and food. So then you fly over here a couple of blocks, about 100, 150 blocks away from that NPC village, and in the middle of the sand biome, you fall down here, and you have your stronghold, and you have your end portal with your silverfish spawner, and this uh, this stronghold is extremely broken up, so it's going to be kind of difficult getting to the end portal itself, because the stronghold is through the middle of a ravine, so it is split on both ends, or split down the middle on both sides, there is different parts of the stronghold which is pretty cool and interesting. I've never really seen that in a Minecraft seed before, having a stronghold that is broken straight down the middle, uh, which was pretty cool. By the way, all the coordinates for this will be in the description below. Definitely go check them out, as well as some other stuff that I couldn't fit into the video because it would just the video would have been way too long. So you end up flying over here some more, and you find another NPC village, so that is two, and this one has a blacksmith house, so you can go in here, and it has some pretty good resources. You open up the chest, you have diamonds, iron, some sapling, an iron chest plate, and a gold uh, ingot, which is pretty good, pretty good resources there. The diamond is always a plus to find in a blacksmith house, as well as any sort of armor, because, you know, those are essential things, and finding them for free like that is pretty friggin' awesome. So, the world is pretty much a lot of land, by the way. There's a ton, a ton of open area. But flying over here away from the NPC village, a um, couple of blocks, maybe 300 or so, there is a spawner, a skeleton spawner, literally... 30, 40 blocks underneath the surface itself, maybe less, and it it is a pretty cool little um, spawner, you don't have to dig far underneath, it has a lot of wheat, it doesn't have anything too good in it, uh, the chest, and another really promising cave and, you know, system, cave system attached to different ravines, but you guys have to go check that out yourself, see what you can find, and if you do find something, definitely tell me in the comment section if you tried out the seed and you find something that wasn't in this video that I did not include, I'd love to see what you guys find. So that's a pretty cool spawner, another NPC village, so so far we're up to three, with two blacksmith homes, this one does have a blacksmith house in it, and this one again does have some pretty good loot, um, you have obsidian, iron, a bunch of iron actually, um, iron leggings, and um, gold and apples, so that's a really good chest, you have obsidian, you don't have to go mine it in your lava, you could get four ready and start building your, uh, your uh, nether portal, and you don't have to really worry about mining obsidian, so flying over here again, not that far away from that other NPC village, you find an okay NPC village, I mean, just use it for the wheat, there's not really much else there. But there is two lava lakes there, and there's another one behind the NPC village, and that's pretty cool. So coming over here, you find a uh, zombie spawner. Again, not that, you know, nothing crazy in the chest uh, itself, just a um, saddle. So you can use that to your advantage, ride a pig or whatever, I don't know. But it's not that promising of a chest, so... But Again, you have a spawner for a skeleton, you have a spawner for a spider, you have a spawner for a zombie, so you have all the major spawners uh, in your world to start off, which is fantastic. You can create a grinder for each, and that is absolutely amazing. So coming over here, we have another NPC village. However, it is not um, connected to any, you know, 
uh, blacksmith home. There's nothing really there, except it does have some pretty uh, cool extreme hills in the background. But going into the nether here, this nether is enormous. It is a great nether. There's huge, huge areas, and the nether fortress itself is complete, and it has one not only one blaze spawner, which this is very risky if you go into this nether fortress. I suggest you bring water or snowballs to hit these blaze, but it has another blaze spawner there. So two blaze spawners very, very close together, making this an awesome, awesome uh, nether fortress, guys. And that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave it a like and a comment telling me what you found in the world. Kid from Sunset Park, I'm out. Peace.